due to the simple fact that he's a great defensive first baseman. Plus, just look at him. It's just confidence right there. Having Greg Bird start first base every single day, you know he's going to be defensively solid. And if he's offensively performing, that is a plus. We all know Bird just has one of those sweet swings that one of these days he's just going to catch fire. And we're going to reap the benefits of sticking with Bird. Another player that I can't say the same with because it's been confirmed with coaching personnel, with former players, etc., is Gary Sanchez. Okay? Even if he offensively struggles, when he doesn't perform offensively, he has another negative in his game when it comes to defense. With Bird, you can't say that. So I would stick with Bird long term. I'll make him a long-term Yankee. Just stick with him, and hopefully he won't get injured again. In other words, it's hell or nothing with Bird. And when I say hell, I mean it in a great way, in a good way. Even though hell is considered bad, but hell, yeah, just raise hell. So, Yankees fans, let's talk about Aaron Boone. Aaron Boone is one of the best Yankees managers that I have seen in years. He has a way of sticking with players that are struggling and just putting them out there. Um, Holder, for a perfect example, everybody was bashing that dude. DFA Holder. Trade him. Send him down. The one person that would ignore all of that was Aaron Boone. He stuck to his guns, and now Holder, he's one of the most consistent pitchers coming out of the pen. And we're seeing that with Shreve. Shreve gets blasted. Shreve. DFA Shreve. All these Yankees fans. Jason Shreve is garbage. Oh, DFA him. Yeah, so you're going to DFA Shreve, but who's going to be your left-handed pitcher coming out the pen. No, Aaron Boone says, forget all these nerds. I'm going to stick with Chase and Shreve, give him a chance. And today, even though the game was out of the reach of the Phillies, Chase and Shreve bounced back. A certified confidence booster for Shreve. This is what I like about Aaron Boone. This is what I did not see from Joe Girardi. Aaron Boone, some people might say, oh, he's not defending Aaron Judge. His strike zone is huge still. But really, folks, you want to pay uh, Aaron Boone's bills because he's going to need it if he's going to get into arguments with umpires constantly. But that just proves that Aaron Judge is a great player when he has that disadvantage to him with that wide strike zone. So let's talk about the emergence of Judge. We all know when the Yankees called him up in 2016 that... He wasn't a great player. Yankees fans didn't consider Judge to being, let's say, the next Yankees star. Because we all saw Gary Sanchez go on a tear, and he made Judge be an afterthought. Judge got injured, etc. The emergence of Aaron Judge in 2017 really took the star power away from Gary Sanchez. So this is what I want to mention. The Yankees did not know what they were going to get with Aaron Judge. It came by surprise. Now we see what Aaron Judge is capable of and will be consistently. He's showing that. So with me mentioning that, other players have become expendable in trade chips just for the simple fact that Aaron Judge, his emergence in being really the Yankees' number one offensive juggernaut in their lineup next to Stanton, it has made current players on the New York Yankees expendable when it comes to trades. So what I'm trying to say here, folks, don't be surprised if, let's say, one of your fan favorites gets traded come trade deadline for an ace, okay? I'm not saying, obviously, Judge is untouchable, and the is untouchable, Torres is untouchable, okay? Don't be surprised if, let's say, somebody by the name of Gary Sanchez gets traded come trade deadline. The Seminetti source on Twitter confirmed that there's a lot of talk about Gary Sanchez how personnel in the front office really not despise him, but are really disappointed in him. So I'm telling you as of now, Yankees fans, he's going to be one of those trade chips that is talked about come trade deadline for an ace. And if you ask me, it makes perfect sense. The Yankees have a lot of prospects coming down the pipeline. We didn't know, the Yankees didn't know early in 2017 how Aaron Judge would turn out. He turned out to be more than they expected. So I'm just putting it out there that Gary Sanchez is, I know for a fact, will be a trade chip for an ace come deadline. And at this point, Yankees fans, the Yankees really do not need two aces. They just need one. 
And at this point, you're going to see the Yankees rotation prosper with different catchers catching behind the plate. We're already seeing that with Austin Romine. We're already seeing the Yankees putting up zeros, the opposition. We're already seeing Loisaga pitching a no-hitter to the sixth inning. We're already seeing Sir Reno. Even though he's an ace and a Cy Young candidate, obviously he's going to be in contention. Putting up zeros. It makes a big difference when Gary Sanchez is not catching behind the plate. I'm sorry to tell you, folks. You are going to see the Yankees rotation get on its tear now. You will see. Take my word. You can even come back to this video, rip it and flip it, come back and leave me a comment if it's not true. The Yankees are about to get on another winning streak. Period. The way a catcher catches makes a big difference. Pitchers have more confidence throwing balls into the dirt. They have more confidence just throwing balls that batters are going to chase. So you will see that. The Yankees, I predict as of now, are going to go on a nine-game winning streak or more or less. Seven, eight, nine range. I'm calling it as of now. So Yankees fans, you cannot deny that the sound of Real Mutu in an ace, how good that sounds. That right there would bury any competition for the Yankees long term. Statistically, it's just a fact, a fact jack. So like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.